Hello, hi, and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I am going to show you how you can build your very own Ordu Boy like this one. So, if you're a beginner getting started with PCB designing and you're looking for some fun project to build with, this project might be exactly for you. So, this is a very easy to build project, and yet you can still have a lot of fun with it. So, what you see here is called an Ordu Boy, as the name suggests, it's an Arduino based Game Boy which you can use to play a lot of retro games uh, just like the old Game Boy used to have. So the game that you see here is called Micro Tank, which is uh, very similar to the retro games of old days and it can work seamlessly on an Arduino uh, Pro Mini as you can see here we just have a Pro Mini powering this entire setup. It is pretty surprising to see how the Arduino handles the game seamlessly and apart from this uh, there are a lot of other games which you can try with the same hardware setup. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can build your very own Ordu Boy like this one including the schematics, the PCB designing and everything. But before we get there, it is important for me to mention NextPCB, who are not only the fabricators of these shiny green boards, but are also the sponsors for this video. NextPCB is an experienced PCB manufacturer specialized in PCB manufacturing and assembly industry for more than 15 years. They provide high quality industry standard PCB with very quick turnaround time as low as 24 hours. They also provide other turnkey solutions like component sourcing, PCB prototyping, quality testing, etc. So do consider giving them a try for your next PCB. Now let's get back to our project. As I told you, the complete circuit diagram to build your very own Ardu Boy is very simple and you can easily build one on your own. So let's start with the circuit diagram here. So there are not much components over here. The main board here is the Arduino Pro Mini, which operates on a 5 volt. So you can see our Arduino Pro Mini on the back side, which is already powered. And the Arduino Pro Mini is uh, connected to, is powered by a 7805. And this 7805 regulates 5 volts for our entire board, including the OLED display, the push buttons, the controller, buzzer, everything. And this 7805 is actually regulating voltage from two 18650 cells. So let me show it on the board over here. On the back side, you have the two 18650 cells. So each cell can provide a maximum of 4.2 volts and the two cells in a series will give you 7.4 volts, which is then regulated to five volts using a 7805 over here. This five volt is then used to power your Arduino Pro Mini, uh, the buzzer, the OLED display and everything else on this board. So uh, coming back to the circuit diagram, you can see uh, the 7805 here. Uh, this is the battery connector uh, that you can see the battery holder over here and uh, this is the switch which we have used to turn on and turn off our board let me quickly show that so you can see a switch over here currently the, the game boy is turned on you can turn it off and you can turn it on again you will see the logo of order boy and you can start playing your game so we have a turn on and turn off switch and then we have four push buttons over here uh, for up down and left and right and then we have two other buttons over here a and b for uh, shooting moving the tank and all those stuff so uh yeah this is all the buttons that you would need for playing any Ordu boy game on your hardware so as i told you this is just an example game you have more than 20 games which you can possibly play on the same hardware and uh, you don't have to change anything other than the code that you're uploading on the Pro Mini. And then, and then you can see the connection for the OLED display over here. So uh, as you can see, the OLED has ground VCC, which is again powered by the 5 volt uh, regulated from a 7805. And then we have the SEL, SDA, reset and DC pin for communicating with our Arduino Pro Mini. So that is it. The circuit is very, very simple. There is nothing complicated here. Uh, one more thing, we have also provided an extra option over here. As you can see, uh, we have a connector over here, which you can use to connect your own joystick. If you're a fan of the analog joystick and not of the push buttons, then you can use this connector to connect an analog joystick. And you can use that instead of the push button and it will all work the same. 
So uh, that is it. This is how the circuit diagram works. So once your circuit diagram is ready, uh, as you can see, uh, this project has a very neat little PCB shaped just in the way of a Game Boy, which makes it very easy to play. So uh, you can also proceed with designing your own PCB, uh, which is very easy because the components here are very less. As you can see, this is the complete layout for a PCB design that uh, we have used. The complete Gerber file for this design can be found at the link given in the description of this video. If you are curious to build your own, you can very well use your own uh, PCB designing software and build a board of your choice. So you can see all the layouts and uh, tracks over here. So this is the bottom side of the board which has a PCB holder sorry which has a battery holder which can hold two 18650 cells and a place to mount your Arduino Pro Mini and on the front side we just have some uh, graphics on the silk screen to make it more attractive like a uh, Game Boy and we have our logo here and then we have a slot for 7805 for a push button sorry for a turn off turn on switch and then some push buttons and finally the OLED display so uh, that is it uh, building your pcb for this would also be a very interesting thing because it's also going to act as a, a enclosure for your early board so once you're comfortable with the pcb designing and once your gerber is ready it's time to get it fabricated i'll show you how you can get your pcbs fabricated from next pcb so to order your pcbs from next pcb just get into their website nextpcb.com and make sure you have already logged in if not just sign up and create an account for yourself which is totally free and then over here you can start with getting quotation for your new pcb so let's say the dimensions of your pcb is 50 mm cross 50 mm and the number of pcbs you need is five uh, you can also change any numbers that you prefer and then the number of layers for our pcb is two and the thickness is 1.6 mm so now click on quote now and it will take you to another page where you can mention few more features for your PCB if required. Now most of the times we can leave it to the default values but if you have a high current conducting paths in your PCB you might have to increase the copper weight uh, you might have to change the solder mask color if you want the PCB to appear differently But most of the times you can leave this to the default values and everything should work fine Now on the right side you can see the total cost for fabricating and shipping your PCB So uh, let's say if you're in United States, it would be $19, but for me it would be India and I'll be using DHL and in that case i have to pay around 23.97 dollars for a pcb which is 50 cross 50 mm now uh, you can also choose china post if you are okay with delayed shipping times and in that case you only have to pay 7.7 dollars .7, but you have to wait for like 15 to 45 days whereas with dhl you can get it in three to five days so that is it uh, if you want you can change anything over here and then you can also mention some uh, extra comments if you want something to be there on your PCB but uh, you can uh, leave it blank as well if you don't have any special requests and then click on add to cart and it will ask you if you also want your PCB to be assembled. Now, if you're a production unit trying to get like 1500 pieces assembled and shipped to you, you can try this option. But if you're a hobbyist who is just trying to fabricate your own PCB, just click on no and it will take you to another page where you can upload the Gerber file for your PCB. Now, the Gerber file for this particular project can be found at the link given in the description of this video. So all you have to do is just click on add PCB file and upload the zip file and uh, click on submit i'm not doing that now so once you upload the zip file or the gerber file what next pcb does is they will take some time to evaluate your uh, pcb design to make sure it's fabrication ready and then it will move into this section called under review so normally it takes like five to ten minutes for them to review your pcb boards once that is done you can find your pcbs under unfinished payment where you can go and proceed with making payment for your PCB. 
once the payment is done all you have to do is just wait and your PCBs will be fabricated and delivered to your doorsteps so within few days of placing my order I received my PCB in a neatly packaged box as you can see the logo of uh, next PCB over here the PCBs were well packaged and the fabrication was simply superb as you can see the quality of the PCB is also very good so the tracks the wires the pads everything were neatly placed and all I had to do was proceeding with assembling the board so I ordered five PCBs in total and I have just assembled all the components on one single PCB which I am showing to you so once the hardware is assembled all you have to do is uh, power it with these two batteries and of course you have to upload the code into your Arduino Pro Mini so this code is from Ordu Boy. There is nothing much of an edit that you have to do. You just have to upload it to your Pro Mini. If you're not sure how to do that, uh, I will leave a link in the description which explains in detail on how to find the code and how to upload it to your own Arduino Pro Mini. Once you have uploaded the code, all you have to do is flip the switch and your Game Boy is ready to play. So that is it guys. This is how you can build your own Ordu Boy, learn something new and also enjoy playing a game. Hope you liked the project and enjoyed watching the video. If yes, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And I will meet you with another video with another exciting project. Until then, thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day.